What's going on H2O Army? Justin from H2O Plants and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little insight on where you could get aquarium plants or other aquarium goods outside of my store. So stay tuned. <laughs> So, of course, there is other sites like myself. There's Aquarium Co-op, uh, Steampot Aquatics, I think, sells some stuff. Um, and there's other uh, shops around um, that sell aquarium goods, fish, plants, uh, etc. Uh, there's sites like Aquabid, which is the equivalent to eBay, but for the aquarium trade. Uh, also, another site to check out if you're interested in some rare stuff. That's typically where you can find uh, rare breeders of fish. Uh, some people sell plants on there and goods as well. Uh, but sometimes it may be a little tricky to figure out exactly the quality that you're going to get or, you know, what to deal with. So the other way of doing it and what I recommend is social media. And you could try Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want. But basically what I do to get a lot of rare plants that I can't quite find elsewhere uh, through wholesalers, nurseries, or in importing, I order from people on the Facebook groups as well as Instagram. So... Uh, I got two packages here, one from somebody on Facebook and one from somebody on Instagram. So the one from uh, Instagram comes from Coco's Aquarium, Chloe. Um, she sent me a rare type of moss that you can't find uh, outside of hobbyists uh, because it's just not in the main distribution yet. And this is what she calls rose moss. I've never seen it before. She asked me if I can properly identify it. Oh, she also sent me guppy grass because people were asking for guppy grass. I don't feel like ordering a ton of it for my nursery, but I figured I can grow it out from a couple stems, which she was so, so kind enough to send my way. So now if I could get this off, let me just uh, snip this. So she double bagged it with a little liquid. Oh, and that's typically why I don't pack with liquid because uh, it will come out. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Um, but that's fine. As a hobbyist, I don't expect them to have, uh, you know, the, sh the shipping uh, standards or know-how of what I do. Um, shipping plants is an art in all within itself. Um, and if you want to see how you ship plants or how I ship plants, you could check out the video. It should be on the screen somewhere in the description, probably on the cards, wherever that is. Um, so yeah, so she sent me some moss and some guppy grass here. Let me open this up and I'll show you guys the moss. She did rubber band this tight as hell though. I gotta give her credit for that. So if you're not following her on Instagram, be sure to do so, uh, because, you know, she, she for one has some awesome tank builds that she does, but, um, if you're into fish content, she's got some, uh, some stuff there. Alright, so... I'm just gonna. Oh come on! You don't, you don't want to get stuck there. Alrighty. So some guppy grass here. Uh, this is basically for a fry. Um, it's it's a good plant to have for fry and whatnot, which I'm gonna throw in there. I'm hoping that I already didn't get guppy grass. And then this supposedly is rose moss. You're not going to be able to tell just by looking at it. But each moss has a different type of filament or strand um, that has different textures and patterns and whatnot. And this happens to be, uh, I guess, a rare one that uh, isn't really in the hobby just yet uh, uh, readily available. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach this to one of the stainless steel ledges that I sell that is on the side of glass here. These are other types of mosses. We're going to see how this uh, grows in my tank because right now in her tank, it's not growing the way it's supposed to be. So if it is correctly identified, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if it grows in my tank as well. And then guppy grass so I could start growing it for you guys. So thanks, Chloe. But now on to Andrew from one of the Facebook groups. So uh, there's numerous, numerous Facebook groups out there. There's planted tanks, uh, planted aquarium keepers. Low tech, high tech planted tanks, uh, the planted tank center, uh, dirted tanks, aquatic solutions, there's H2O Army if you want to join our Facebook group. But there's tons of Facebook groups. There's even auction sites on Facebook that are, uh, I think it's uh, aquatic plants auctions. 
and aquatic plants and shrimp auctions where you could even uh, find people auctioning off plants. And it's not just uh, rare collectors like myself, it may be a hobbyist like you that want to even sell your own plants. You could do so on there and it's free because it's Facebook. There's no charge for it. Uh, you just have to ship them out or you could even do local pickup. Uh, but I recommend checking out all those groups if you want to see about getting plants. Uh, one, it may be cheaper than what I list them for because when it's a hobbyist, and they go and they trim their plants they have no overhead they're just like hey I got all these these plants give me a couple dollars and that allows them to go buy other stuff for their tanks or whatever and it allows you to get a plant at a really cheap price so I recommend checking out the Facebook groups uh, to try and see you know even if you're just getting into plants it's always a good way to try and track down some newbie plants um, and you don't have to spend a whole lot of money not that my prices are too high but you know what if you could get it cheaper why not you know they might not have the supply obviously it's a it's a rare uh or not a rare but it, it, you got to be in the right place at the right time because uh they're not going to have a steady supply or at least you know a setup like mine where i grow rapidly uh occasionally it's just people trying to get rid of their trimming so so what i have here is a type of bacopa and I forget the uh, the exact name of it, but it is a little bit different than the other types of Bacopa that I have. Uh, so it looks a lot like Bacopa Carolina, but it's not because Bacopa Carolina has uh, very round uh, shaped leaves and these are uh, oval shaped leaves. So um, it's very nice. I'm excited to see. Uh, it does have a little pink at the top, which is awesome. I love plants that, uh, as they grow and hit the top of the surface, they change colors a bit. It's always a cool uh, plant to see growing. So I got uh, quite a bit of stems here. Um, like I said, this is this comes from a hobbyist, not an actual seller. That's just like, hey, I have this plant. I want to get rid of it, and I saw it because it was somewhat rare. And I'm like, you know what? Uh, this is not something that I can get from my nurseries. And if I could get a decent amount like this, like this I think was 10 stems, maybe even more, there might be more in here. But this ain't bad. 10 stems of a plant that I can't find from my nursery and this allows me to get it, grow it out of my tanks and get it out to you guys, which makes it readily available. Um, and that is how I get a lot of the stem plants that I get, where if you look at other retailers online, they don't get rare plants like this they get what the nurseries supply them with this takes care to grow i have to stick them in my tank i have to wait this this plant i mean this will grow pretty quick but some plants can take months uh the ludwigia white species that i had i think i lost it after the move i have like a little stem left of it but all the leaves were gone um and i'm hoping that it comes back but that was uh 45 dollars for three stems and it never, never reached the website because I, it just took forever to grow between moving it around tanks and moving here. Uh, I just didn't have enough space for it. So I'm going to get these in the tank over here. Uh, these will be up on the website once they're ready. Of course, uh, this is a Bacopa. It's not Carolina and it's not Bacopa Monterey. It's going to be a different kind of one. I have to look up the name. As a matter of fact, let's see what the name is. Let's see. Andrew... Or Andrew, here we go. It's Bacopa. Bacopa, Colorado. So it's not Carolina. It's a little bit different. And it's got the pink tips, which is nice. But, like I said, guys, if you want to try and find some plants, check out the Facebook groups. Check out Instagram. Check out Aquabid. Check out other retailers. Um, and that is about it for this, uh, this video. Uh, drop a comment or question below and we're going to pick one lucky winner to win a gift card of some sort or gift certificate to the store and um, that's about it oh we have to choose a question or a comment from the other video let's go with Brian Eaton from Splitting CO2 Lines Daily Trim Episode 50 you, sir, win a $20 gift certificate to the store. Message me on my channel through PM, and I will send you the link or send you the code. Till next time, guys, I will see you later.